How have you been recently? It was a Saturday morning. Bella is at home waiting for a friend to visit whom she hasn't seen in a long time. She was very excited to meet her friend. Bella cleans the house and prepares fruit for this special guest. Is it Tina? She came earlier than I expected. <gasps> Hi, my name is Tom. I just moved here. My house is opposite your house. And my mom made some cookies, so she wants to invite the neighbors around here. Oh, thank you. And thank you for your cookies. I'm Bella. Nice to meet you. This area is quiet and very safe. A perfect place to live. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Bella. See you. Hi, Tom. Do you need any help? Yeah, I need you to carry my suitcase to the house. But I'm not Tom. I'm Tina. Oh, long time no see. Let me help you. Come in. I prepared some fruit for you. Please, make yourself comfortable. Awesome. I'm pretty hungry. But... Who is Tom? Who? Don't tell me Tom is the handsome neighbor who just moved in. Wow, how do you know? I haven't said anything yet. I can guess from your face and voice. Hi, Tom. Do you need any help? <laughs> tell me about you. How have you been recently? I have two weeks off. I don't know where to go for vacation. I suddenly thought of you and your house is also near the sea. Here is a perfect place for your vacation with one kind friend and one beautiful beach. How about your job? My team has completed a difficult project. Everything is pretty good. So, boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Guess if I have a boyfriend or not. Hmm. You're still single. Think about this. Two weeks for rest and you're here. Not with your boyfriend. Wow, nice. You too, right? How do you know? Hi, Tom. Do you need any help? Is the answer. Hey, don't mention it again. How about you? How have you been recently? You see, I live with my younger brother. He goes out to meet his friends and my job is so good. Do you have something new? I plan to write a book. Sounds great. Your blog has received a lot of attention. I'm looking forward to your book. You can do it. Thanks. Oh, we have a guest. Come here. Let me introduce myself. This is Andrew, my brother. And this is Tina, my friend. She'll stay for two weeks for vacation. Nice to meet you, Tina. Please, make yourself at home. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for letting me stay at your house. Have you eaten yet? Shall we have dinner together? Great. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry, too.
Andrew is really good at cooking. I feel like I just ate at a five-star restaurant. So I eat at the five-star restaurant every day. Thank you, Tina. Tina, wait a minute. I'll wear a beautiful dress, then we'll go shopping. Okay. In the meantime, I'll look around your house. Wow, Bella's house is huge. Wow, look at that teapot. I didn't know that she collects antiques. They're so beautiful. Andrew, do you know where's my black dress? How do I know? Their voices are so loud. I dropped this teacup. Oh my God! Where is the handle of the teacup? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that surprised me. What are you doing here? Wait for me for a minute. I'm looking for a dress. Okay, don't worry about me. I have to turn the teacup inward to hide the broken handle. Okay, no one can see. Why did this happen to me? Where is the handle? Let's go shopping. God, you frightened me. You are so weird. What did you say? I'm fine. Completely normal. Let's go shopping. I'll go upstairs and put my new clothes in the closet. Make yourself comfortable. Don't be shy. Up here, up here, please handle. It's like having a burden on my heart. I've been shopping, but it doesn't make me happy. What? What are you doing there? <gasps> Look, brother, this wooden floor is amazing. The design is also unique. Um, it's just a normal floor. Do you like wooden floors? Yes, I really like it. No. I love it. I'm so weird. Why did this happen to me? What are you doing down there? Oh, I'm exercising. We went shopping. My feet hurt a bit. Are you okay? Now I'm okay. It's late at night. Take a shower. Go to bed early. I've prepared a room for you. It's opposite my room. And let's go to the beach tomorrow. Thank you for my room. Have a sweet night. Oh my God! God bless me. It is the handle. Where have you been? I will bring this teacup and its handle to my room. I'll fix it. How can I fix it? It's an antique. But since when did she collect antiques? Or should I tell her? No. If Bella knows this, she'll probably kill me. I should find someone to help. Hello, is this a ceramic shop? Yes, we are. How may I help you? Can you fix a teacup that fell on the handle? Can you fix it? What kind of teacup? I'm not sure. If possible, bring it to our store. We'll take a look. Do you know the address? Yes, I see it on your website. Thank you. Hi, I 
spoke with the shop owner last night on the phone. I want to fix this teacup. Oh, I remember. Let me see. This is easy, not difficult. I can fix it. You can come and get it tomorrow. Is it an antique teacup? Isn't it? It's from China. Do you also like things like this? No, it's not mine. It belongs to my friend. She loves it. See you tomorrow. Andrew, have you seen Tina anywhere? No, maybe she's in her room. I don't know where she is. We have a date to go to the beach today. Good morning. Where have you been? I exercise. I walk around here and buy some breakfast. Wait, there is something wrong. What? Look at this. This tea set is missing one cup. You're right. How can it be lost? God knows. Tina, now we go to the beach. No, I don't know. Really, I I don't know. What is this? What kind of teacup? Let's go to the beach. I want to go there. I just asked you to the beach, and you said no. You're so weird. No, I'm not. Let's go. Even though the house is near the sea, I never get bored of swimming in the sea. Correct. Swimming in the sea helps me reduce stress. Oh, it's Tom, the neighbor who just moved in. He's also the owner of a ceramic shop. Earth is round. What are you doing? Tom is greeting us. I uh, I have a stomach ache. Go, go home. I can't stand it. Are you okay? Okay. Let me help you. I want to get the teacup yesterday. You come so early. Are you Bella's friend? Yes. How much is it? I don't take money. It's free. I don't know why, but thank you. Can you give me Bella's phone number? Oh well, but promise you can't talk about this teacup. Okay. It is so gentle in the soul. I feel so peaceful. You woke up so early. Did you exercise? Yes. Bella, come here. Look, the teacup is back. How is it possible? Does it go and come back on its own? Oh, it's okay. Whatever it appears or not, because I don't like it too much. I'm about to throw it away. What did my friend say? I thought she likes it. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Are you okay? Where do you hurt? I have a little headache. Oh. There's a strange number calling me. <sighs> I'm like a silly girl, but at least I help my friend get a boyfriend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.